Hi students! Welcome back to Maestrang Techie YouTube channel. Another week, another video lesson for quarter 3, grade 9 science. Today's topic will be focusing on volcanic eruption. Check out our learning objectives. Differentiate between active and inactive volcanoes. Explain what happens when volcanoes erupt. Week 2 topic is very interesting, so keep on watching! Before we start, let us have a short review about our previous lesson. If you haven't watched our week 1 lesson, you may check the link in the description box below. For our review, let us have word scramble. Identify the word being described by the following statements and arrange the jumbled letters. Let us start! The first word is, These are natural opening in the Earth's surface where molten rocks, smoke, gases, and ashes are ejected. The correct answer is, Volcano! That is right! The second word, It is a funnel-shaped depression at the top of a volcano formed as a result of explosive eruption. The correct answer is, Crater, that is right. The third word, it is a volcanic crater that is formed when a part of the wall of the crater collapses following an explosive eruption. Caldera, correct class. Next, these are molten rocks inside the earth. The correct answer is magma, excellent class. Last word, magma that has been ejected out of a volcano is called Lava! That is right! Good job, class! Good work! It seems that you really understand our last lesson. Let us proceed to our lesson proper. Look at the picture shown in your screen right now. Are you familiar with this image? This is the breathtaking scenery at Taal Lake on the Philippine island of Luzon, specifically Batangas. Makes it one of the country's most popular tourist destinations. Nowadays, this volcano shows volcanic activity. The Philippines is known for its diverse natural resources and picturesque sceneries like mountains and volcanoes. Having these in the country is not surprising because the Philippines is situated or part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which is characterized by frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Most active volcanoes on Earth are located in the circumference of the Pacific Ring of Fire and again, Philippines is included. Did you know that our country has more than 100 volcanoes as of 2013, making us known as the home of many volcanoes? There are several ways by which volcanoes can be classified. One of these is according to its record of eruption. So, let us have the first classification. It is called Active Volcano. It is a volcano that has had at least one record of eruption during the past 10,000 years, meaning it had erupted and had shown volcanic activity. An active volcano might be erupting or dormant. When we say dormant, it is an active volcano that is not erupting but supposed to erupt again. And according to Fevox, there are 24 active volcanoes in the country. That is a lot, class. Imagine, there are 24 volcanoes that might erupt in our country. And I have listed the 24 active volcanoes in the Philippines and their location. Take a look at these volcanoes. On the other hand, we can also classify volcano as inactive volcano. They are also called extinct or slipping volcanoes. It is one that could erupt but has not erupted for more than 10,000 years. They are expected to erupt again at some point, despite being dormant for thousands of years. Inactive does not necessarily indicate that the volcano will not erupt again. One example is, Mount Pinatubo. Did you know that before, Mount Pinatubo was an inactive volcano? 
However, it erupted on year 1991, and the type of eruption it had was the Plinian eruption, the most excessively explosive eruption. Therefore, class, an inactive volcano or extinct volcano can still be an active one. Here are some of the inactive volcanoes in the Philippines. Now, the question is, how does magma form? The Earth's center is believed to be extremely hot. The melting of mantel and crust can form magma. This magma can push through holes or cracks in the crust, causing volcanic eruption. When magma is ejected out of the volcano, it is called lava. When it cools and solidifies, it is called igneous rocks. Next question is, how are volcanoes formed? Magma can rise when pieces of Earth's crust called tectonic plates slowly move away from each other. Magma also rises when these tectonic plates move toward each other. A final way that magma rises is over hot spots. Hot spots are exactly what they sound like, hot areas inside the Earth. When we say hot spots, these are fixed places within the mantle or oceanic lithosphere, where rocks melt to generate magma. When a hot spot is situated in the oceanic lithosphere, a class of volcanoes known as shield volcanoes is built. These are constructed on the deep ocean floor and may be built high enough to rise above sea level as volcanic islands. Next, let us take a look at the process of volcanic eruption. Magma inside the volcano has a high temperature. As the magma is continuously heated, it goes up. As it rises, gas bubbles are developed. The gas bubbles are dropped and expand, causing the molten material to swell also, resulting in a gradual increase in pressure within the volcano. When the pressure exceeds the strength of the overlying rock, fracturing occurs. The resulting breaks lead to a further drop in confining pressure which in turn causes enhanced or even more gas bubbles to form. And then, magma is ejected out as lava. Now, let us discuss the volcano alert levels given by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FIVOX. Alert level 0 means quiet or no alert, no eruption in foreseeable future. Alert level 1 means low level of volcanic unrest, no eruption imminent. Alert level 2 means increasing unrest. Magma may rise from Earth's crust, leading to possible volcanic eruption. Alert level 3 means magmatic unrest. It may include seismic swarms, changes in temperature, bubbling activity. Alert level 4, hazardous eruption imminent. Hazardous eruption is possible within days. Alert level 5 means hazardous eruption in progress, accompanied by lava fountaining or lava flows. Now that we know the alert levels of volcano, let us have some precautionary measure before and during a volcanic eruption. You may take note of these. Listen to the radio for updates from authority when there is an impending eruption that may cause ashfall. Prepare emergency supply kit such as food, bottled water, flashlights, batteries, and many more. Prepare dust mask or clean cloth for covering your nose and goggles for eyes. You may also prepare cleaning supplies such as broom, vacuum cleaner, and etc. It is very important that you know the location of the evacuation area and you have an emergency plan. Next, what to do during a volcanic eruption. Stay calm, do not panic. Cover your nose and mouth with dumb clean cloth or dust mask. Close all windows and doors or any entrance of your house. Place dumb towels or cloth at door openings and other open sources. It is very important that you listen to the radio updates or watch news 
about the developments regarding the volcanic eruption. Do not forget to keep your pets inside their house or their shelter to avoid inhaling ashes. If you are driving a vehicle, pull to the side of the road and stop if there is a heavy ash fall. If you are outside, you may look for a shelter. Wash all fruits and vegetables thoroughly before eating and cover containers and food to avoid contamination from ash. Remember class, B, I am ready. Next question, how do volcanic eruptions affect society? A volcanic eruption is often associated with negative effects. Yes, it can destroy houses, properties, and many more in just one snap of finger. Some gases emitted during eruptions are toxic. However, volcanic eruptions help bring out various minerals and chemicals to the surface. This process helps to increase the fertility of the soil, which is why volcanic soil is much valued. Volcanic activity can lead to the formation of new land, which people can farm and live on. Also, it can be a famous tourist spot, just like Mount Mayon and Mount Pinatubo. And that ends our lesson this week. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell button. See you on my next video. Bye!